I get somebody else to do it. I got somebody else to do it. Bring my strawberry. Thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And y'all, today is Follow Up Fridays, where we will be talking about celebrity gossip and news. That's what we're following up on. We're following up on everybody else's content. Okay, so first we're going to start off with um, the Shanquilla Robinson case, okay? No one has been locked up um, as far as I know, allegedly, right now about this case, y'all, okay? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody, which is really messed up, okay? All right. But let me tell y'all what the mama said. The mama had said that, thank you, you probably should have cut it right there. What drink are you drinking? I'm drinking orange juice. Anywho, the mama had said that the the best friend, the best friend, the guy, the best friend, he's went on trips with them and everything. He came over with no compassion and said she was it. Brought her back. She did. No compassion. And she also said that um, the friends, while she was talking about, like, they was talking about what they was going to wear to the fume. The friends was over there talking about what they was going to wear to the fume, too. Where they do that at? And they don't mark this girl. They sitting up there talking about what they going to wear to the funeral. And they know all know that they don't jump this girl. <laughs> You cannot have nobody in your house, y'all, at this point. Like, my trust level is at a negative, okay? Is at a negative. My trust level is in debt at this point, okay? It has always been in debt. Now it's in debt even more. These people were sitting up there talking about what they was going to wear to this child's funeral. And they know that they done had a part to do with it. This remind me of the movie, um, you know, Tupac was in it. They was in the elevator. They went to the funeral and they know they had something to do with it. Y'all, I can't never remember the name of that movie, y'all. But I had said that before, before I even knew that they were sitting there talking about what they was going to wear. So that lets you know, Kanika them, probably, her folks probably did the same thing. They probably like, what y'all going to wear? What y'all going to wear? Knowing they was the ones that, like, had a part in it. I'm just saying. Okay. Anywho, that just made me feel some kind of way, y'all. Okay? So, when y'all cheer to me going somewhere and you be like, where you going? Who Where you going? Who you going with? How you know them? Keep asking all them questions because I do. I don't care how old you is. Okay? And guess what? Even if they ask it about me, that's okay. Because y'all is still shady out there in these streets. Y'all all... Grown and shady. Y'all still out there scamming people. Y'all still out there manipulating manipulating people. Grown and old as you are. So I don't mind nobody being concerned about me. Because guess what? I would want to scam and manipulate me too. <laughs> Anywho. Um, moving right along. Grandma Nancy and Yvonne. Make sure that you follow Yvonne and Grandma Nancy on YouTube and instagram you guys so yvonne and grandma nancy um basically the background on her is she's uh she helps her mother takes care of her mother so she's taking care of her grandmother that has dementia she was diagnosed with dementia and um she is a very a great support you guys she they have changed their whole life to help be there for their grandmother that the doctor's been said certain things about and everything. So she is, um, they just met a milestone on YouTube. They just reached a hunt. They reached, they didn't just reach it, but they got their plaque. A hundred K subscriber plaque from YouTube, you guys. And that's such an awesome ordeal because she has something with her and her grandmother's name on it. 
And it's like a reward from YouTube. Like you're doing a great job. Like that's how I look at it. It's not just 100K. It's like this is what I'm doing for my grandmother. Even though she don't know it, she would be so proud of her. She would be so, she would be like, hey, hey. Hey, hey, how she be dancing? <laughs> yes, I love it. So anyway, the up make sure you follow them on TikTok as well. I think she has like a million followers on TikTok. Yes, a million. And she has tuned into my show, which um we do have to follow back up with each other because she did say she wanted to um do something at least once a month. So um I man, I commend her. Like she is so awesome to me. Because she takes the time. She has kids. The kids are all in sports. She has a husband. She has a business. And she still takes that time to see about her grandmother. She go over there and change the bed sheet. She go over there and change, wash her grandmother up. She go over there and make sure she's fed. She go over there and dance with her. Put on her favorite songs. Like, she is awesome, y'all. Okay? Um... So, basically, Grandma Nancy uh, had a seizure, and she fell and hit her head, I think, on a dresser, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you see this, Javon, if I'm wrong about anything, make sure you let me know. But, um, she was kind of, like, down a little bit, but she is getting back to herself. I've been watching the videos, and I've been seeing her each day. She getting that spunk back that she has that we know her for. And that is just totally awesome. So make sure that you subscribe and follow Yvonne and Grandma Nancy on YouTube and um, TikTok. Okay? TikTok, she has over a million followers. YouTube, over 100K followers. Okay? So, um, and if you watching this, man, I'm going to reach out to you so we can do something. Um, do another video together really soon because I'm like so proud of you like for just everything you're doing for your grandmother okay okay so moving right along to Brittany Griner okay okay so I had to look up some information because I did not know or do not know too much about her I'm not gonna sit on here and cap like I do I don't I've heard that she tried to, like, take in a, a something. So, I had to, like, the reason why she got locked up in Russia. So, basically, Brittany Griner is an American professional basketball player for the Phoenix Mercury um, of Women's National Basketball Association. And um, she was um, detained in Russia for 294 days. And she was serving nine-year sentence, okay? They were trying to get her nine years, y'all. Like, they were trying to get her ten, almost ten on that thing, okay? For bringing a vape cartridge, um, carrying a vape, vape cartridge and a small amount of cannabis oil into the country, okay? So, my opinion about this is I would be scared to do that, Okay? I got this full-fledged career that I probably never dream. I might have dreamed that I have it. Probably would have never dreamed that I have it. But I am not. I ain't even taking no lotion on the plane. I don't even know what size. I ain't taking no lotion. I ain't taking no perfume. I'm about to buy that when I get there. Yet alone taking some cartridges of some with some cannabis in it. You think I'm gonna mess up my career? You think I'm gonna? I'm not. I'm not and not. So for one. I would not have done that. So, <laughs> negative. It, it ain't nothing I want that bad. I would go over there on, on stinking and everything. What I can't take, what? No deodorant, no, no, no cologne, no perfume, no nothing, no hair supplies. I will go shopping when I get there, okay? Okay. Anywho, um, so they try to give her nine years. Um, so, um, they did a prisoner swap, okay? So, I'm like, I don't know what a prisoner swap is, okay? 
I don't know about nothing that got anything to do with jail. I don't even like orange. I don't like jailbirds. I don't like anything that starts with jail, that remind me of jail, hell, jail, that rhyme with jail. I don't like any of it, okay? Like, I don't know. So I was looking up prison swap. Like, what is that? So basically, um, I'm assuming when I read up on it, it says that, like, if she gets out, somebody else get out. So they kind of, like, trade it. You get out, so this person get out. I ain't never heard of nothing like this or whatever. I'm pretty sure both parties is happy because I'm pretty sure I would be too. But um, prisoner swap for arms dealer Victor Bouts, okay? So he's an arm dealer. So I'm like, what is an arm dealer? Because I don't know nothing about nothing that got anything to do with nothing illegal, okay? Let's just get this great. So um, the arm dealer... Who he has used multiple companies to smuggle weapons. What? Okay, so I guess the smuggling part, they're like, let me find somebody that been smuggling stuff too. But to smuggle weapons and to smuggle a little cartridge or something with some cannabis in it, that is not equal. Y'all could not find nobody that did something equal. Like, y'all found somebody that was smuggling guns if they were smuggling guns what i was going to do with them okay let's find out in 2011 it says that basically um on charges including conspiracy to kill american citizens so allegedly that's what this person was doing why nobody is talking about this why nobody is talking about why they letting this man go and he was smuggling allegedly smuggling weapons to kill us Y'all talking about, oh, we happy she out, we happy she out. Y'all don't know her, and this man is out. If I'm wrong, y'all, hit me up in the messenger, because I had to look this up myself. Because ain't nobody talking about the swap thing. I ain't know what no swap thing was. I don't know nothing about it. I don't even know about jail, okay? I just don't about jail breaking all the shows. Black is the new orange and all that. All that, that's why I only know about that. But... Nobody is talking about this swap thing. They let somebody out that was smuggling uh, weapons to, to mark folks off us. And that's who they decided to swap. They couldn't find nobody else. Okay, all right. I'm going to just leave that right there. Why ain't nobody talking about that? Okay. Let's sip my orange juice, okay? Moving right along to Lil Scrappy, okay? Y'all know Lil Scrappy from Love and Hip Hop. His mother is a Mama D, okay? So, anyway, I ran across a video of Lil Scrappy, and it was titled, My Wife, a Compton... Can't say that on here. She a Compton, you know, rhyme with whip, but it started with a C. Um, and his mama is a devil from the ATL. Same, bro. You feel like your mama all devil? But anyway, I did watch the video. And basically, he was just saying that um, when he seen Wakanda forever, he was thinking that, dang, is this my life? He said he was comparing it to him. I have not watched it. I don't know what he's talking about. But it could not have been good, okay? Because he was sitting in a barbershop doing his whole interview. It was pretty cool. And he was just basically saying they both, like, is riding for him so hard that he's just in the middle of it. He said that um, he feel like he, he, he said he know he's done something within his childhood, you know what I'm saying, to make his mama. We all know how his mama, you know, she used to be a pimp and all that right there. But he said he probably pretty sure as a boy he done did something growing up. That make her feel a certain kind of way. And he said he feel like he don't know he done did something within the marriage that make his wife feel some kind of way. So he just stuck in between. They both be riding for him so hard. And they both gangsters. And like basically he ain't no gangster. And he just stuck in the middle. And won't nobody even get like just give up. Like 
I feel like he should just run away. You know what I'm saying? But I really feel like he like it because it's about him. They both are overprotective about him. And basically, he even said that his wife is like his mother. You have married your mother. You complain about your mother, but you have really married your mother. Bam, you act like Mama D. Give it up. You y'all don't give along, get along because y'all act alike. You need to let that lady see her grandchildren. Let me tell you something. I wish somebody wanted to see my children, okay? Okay? Alright? So you need to take advantage of that, okay? Let that lady see her grandchildren. Let that lady come over there and see her grandchildren. Y'all act just alike. Let it go. Give it up. And stay out of all them people business. Bam me stay. She just like Mama D. Stay in people business. He married his mama. Okay? Anywho, moving right along. Wendy Williams, okay? Her husband, Kevin Hunter, is basically um mad. Basically, he want to get money from Wendy Williams, and she can't work because she is sick. She can't even hardly walk. And this man is sitting up there talking about, you owe me money. She can't even... She owe him money so that he can continue to take care of his woman and his baby that he got for, from cheating on her. What they do to that? Kevin, I'm going to need for you to get a job. I need for you to go on down there. Walmart is everywhere is hiring at this point. And you can get on real quick. Walmart, Amazon, you could be a 911 operator. I just quit that job. You can, um, let me tell you something. You could be a popo. You could be a police. You could be um a firefighter. You can work at um Family Dollar. You can work at Burger King. You can work somewhere, but you're gonna have to do something because Wendy Williams is sick. And then in y'all divorce decree, she gonna have to go back and y'all gonna have to reevaluate that because I read somewhere that since she's sick, she ain't even gonna be able to even pay you or even owe you where um it first had said. So I think you need to go ahead and get a job. And so, and your um your baby mama, or if you're not married or your wife, whatever, the little baby need to get a job. Y'all need to get her a little business. She can start selling a little onesies or whatever because you're going to need that because Wendy Williams is not feeling too good, okay? Um, Even to the point where their son, look, Kevin, he done got put out his um million, $2 million apartment because he could not pay seventy. K, his seventy thousand dollars he's owed. So I, I'm like, dang! When you stay in a two million dollar place, they let you get that behind in, you know, to where you know it's seventy k. But I don't know. That's neither here or there. So um, little Kevin, I got put out. We ain't even stunned about that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it, it's probably just time for everybody to get a job. You know what I'm saying? The word for the day is J O B. <laughs> Anywho. So, um, because Wendy Williams can't get one, she is disabled, okay? So, um, and he had the nerve to say he should have divorced her 10 years ago. She should have never married you, Kevin. D what kind of crap is that for you to say you should have divorced her 10 years ago? I can name a list of things that you probably should have done. But anywho, um, Krishan, Krishan, they go with Blue Flakes. She had said that she would um pretend to want a threesome, okay? She said that she would pretend to want a threesome with her dude, Blue Flace, <laughs> only to beat up the girl. So, ladies, do not be trying to holler at this dude because you're going to get Shaquilla Robinson. She might have all her female friends jump out on you, all that. So, remember this. Do not try to holler at that dude. If you're trying to set something up, she is trying to get you. She done already put it out there in the open that she would go along with it just to beat you up. Okay? All right. And so, the last but not least, escape. I ain't going to stay on this long, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Is the sister, is, is her husband really cheating or is that a part of the show? They have a new reality show coming up. And so basically, um, the sister that basically got a record deal, um, 
her husband allegedly has a mistress and at first she said you know she's pregnant and she you know she's sleeping with him and then next thing you know she said her account was hacked and then next thing you know she said that he made her do it and that it all is true so what is this are you guys trying to get us to watch the show we're gonna watch the show anyway shout out to east pz okay shout out to candy burris we from the same city okay but um is this the watch the show we're gonna watch it anyway a lot of people are saying that y'all use candy and tiny to get back into the um game so that you could try to basically um get a record deal again which failed before that's what they saying i'm not saying it i know you can say it. I don't know why you ain't been had no record deal. You feel me? I don't know what it is, but you can sing, girl. But that is what they is saying out here in these streets. That you use Candy and um Tiny so that you can do the same thing you done did before and it just did not work. Okay? Um, also, they're also saying that your sister is um like against you just for fame. I don't feel like that. I feel like your sister is just being honest because she don't want to... um you know, um, mess up her coins and she still has to feed her family. So I'm just here to find out what's going to happen. I'm going to watch the show. I'm still a supporter. And what I need from you is understanding. Y'all need to say that to each other. Okay. But anywho, um, I just want to say, um, you guys, this is, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in to follow up Fridays, okay? So make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. And let me know if you would like to see another follow up Fridays.